lengths clear, but here comes Brad Blake, car number uh, zero, the O Show. On the outside there is uh, Craig Vosbergen, further back to car number 21, and a desperate uh, battle for third, fourth and fifth at the moment. On the inside is uh, Brad Lowe, car 21, he is in fourth position, further back to uh, Bert Vosbergen, car number four in fifth. Then we go back to the other Queenslander in Blair Granger. But our race leader is Alan Butcher, car number 83. In second place is Brad Blake in the zero machine. Further back to uh, car number eight, that is uh, Craig Vosbergen. Then back to car number four, Bert Vosbergen. And 21 is uh, Brad Ludlow. Looks like Granger is out. Our first uh, Queensland visitor is a casualty, so Granger is out of the event. Car 83, Alan Butcher down the back straight he goes, he's clearing right out from this one, very good control of the car, Brad Blake in second position, then we go further back to uh, Craig Bosbergen, further back again to uh, Bert Bosbergen, family affair there in third and fourth, then uh, Brad Ludlow in uh, car number 21, further back to John Carty, but on the outside of him is Daryl Crane, Good driving by Daryl Crane. Be interesting whether he can keep car number 18 up high and keep the power on to go around Carney. As he comes onto the main straight, he gets a much better run onto the main straight and he'll take over six running. But uh, the Queenslander, Alan Butcher, what a great performance. He has won past national titles in the sedan division. He has now switched into the late models and looks like he's gonna chalk up uh, possibly an Australian title. Brad Blake is in uh, second place. Back there to Craig Bosbergen. Bert Bosbergen, the father on the outside there in car number four. Just tried to hook the car up differently to uh, son Craig. Races off down the back straight, tries to get a better run out of uh, turn number four. Let's see whether he can take over third running. But at the moment, it is still uh, Butcher out in front. Here comes Bert, he's not gonna give up. He's persistent with the high line and looks like it's gonna pay off. So Craig Vosbergen gets relegated back to fourth position. Brad Blake uh, driving a very good tactical race. He's down there hugging the curb as he goes through uh, turns one and two. But it's Butcher still out in front, the Queenslander. In second place is West Australia's uh, Brad Blake all the way from Bunbury in the southwest. Then we back uh, to big bad Bert Vosbergen, car number four. Further back to car number eight, Craig Vosbergen. Uh, Brad Ludlow in car number 21 and then Daryl Crane in car 18. Further back to John Carty, telling about his 17 and that of course is uh, uh, Craig Dylander. Further back again is Phil Richards, Mark Matthews having problems in car number 30 and then Rob McGregor in 28. So all the drivers have now got a little bit of space between them. They can concentrate on driving and they need to nurse these cars. Seven laps remaining for our race leader. And it's uh, Alan Butcher of Queensland. Just six laps now to go. Rob McGregor almost lost 28, brings it back online, but he's gonna fill the wrath of our race leader. The Queenslander down the back straight. He is cleared right out from uh, Brad Blake. Blake is still comfortably placed in second position. Bert Bosbergen for third. Good battle going on between uh, Craig Bosbergen and Daryl Crane. Daryl Crane almost lost the car keeps it back under control now and we'll uh, just try to make it a little bit tidier for the next lap around but our race leader comes out of turn number four under the main straight Queensland's Alan Butcher what a great performance by the Queenslander one of the veterans of sedan racing Brad Blake in second position then we go back to third place, that's uh, West Australian Bert Vosbergen, Craig Vosbergen and then Daryl Crane. Further back again to uh, Brad Ludlow. The passing flag being shown to Rob McGregor. And our race leader with just three laps to go is Queensland's Alan Butcher. Will this be a title win for Alan Butcher? Or will Brad Blake take the victory? But uh, Brad is now under pressure from uh, Bert Bosbergen. This is a great drive by Bert Bosbergen. Powers on car number four. Will probably lead as they come on to the uh, main straight. Battling with uh, Brad Blake for second position. Just uh, one and a half laps to go out for our race leader. And that is Alan Butcher from Queensland. But have a look at Bert Bosbergen. What a great drive. Brad Ludlow hugging the curb still. Oh, here comes Craig Bosbergen to make it an all-family affair as they move up there on uh, Brad Blake. 
but uh, the Queenslander down the back straight for the final time. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Alan Butcher is going to win the third 20-lap feature race tonight for the late model sedans. A great fighting finish in second place, and it's going to be Craig Vosbergen across the line for second. Very close for third. I would have given it to Bert Vosbergen. Further back to Daryl Crane, and then Brad Blake in uh, the Osho machine. Craig Vosbergen not ending that race the way he wanted to. Spinning out down the back straight but that could give the title. I'd say it does, Brad, to uh, Alan Butcher. How about that race, fans? Put your hands together for him. And of course, well, that was a fantastic event there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks, Dino. The uh, checkered flag, and uh, we'll see who has won this title for the uh, late models. What a brilliant performance. Now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, due to the time, uh, the uh, final of the West Australian Sprint Car title has been held over to next week. Unfortunately, we have run out of time, so the Sprint Car title, the West Australian Championship final, has been held over until next week. We do apologise. We've had an enormous day of racing down here at the Motorplex, but that is a great excuse to come down to the Motorplex next week. Looks like the national champ has uh, gone to uh, Alan Butcher of Queensland. What a brilliant performance, a long haul. Richard, uh, yeah, that's it, absolutely, Brad. Sorry to interrupt there, just saw Ben Ludlow give the flag to him. Put your hands together, race fans, for Alan Butcher. We've got trophy presentations for these guys in a little while, so stick around. I've also got some handouts there from the uh, army there. So if you want to stick around, kids, and uh, grab a few of those, please feel free to do so. We'll go down to the pit area and chat to some of the drivers and competitors down there uh, after this uh, amazing day of speedway racing at the Quid Motorplex, Brad. OK, yeah, thanks, Dean. Well, there it is, the national champion for late model sedans has come all the way from Queensland. Alan Butcher, a veteran of sedan racing, and he has clinched the inaugural late model sedan championship for uh, 2002. A great performance, but an equally good performance by our West Australian drivers to fill the minor placings. Uh, I thought the Vosvergens both, uh, Bert and Craig, brilliant job. Bit of bad luck there for uh, Brad Blake. He uh, suffered uh, problems in his second race and uh, unfortunately ran out of handling in that final event. But uh, the first national title for late model sedans is going to head across the Nullarbor and go up to Queensland. Just stick around, race fans. Do not go yet. We want to uh, recognise this Australian champion and give him his uh, trophy, etc. He's come a long way to uh, come here and race and take out the Australian championship in front of a crowd here, a great effort, and uh, how about it, Motorplex? Uh, those of you here, thanks for waiting with us. Put your hands together for our Australian champion, all the way from Queensland. We'll have a chat with him in a moment, actually, about uh, his uh, previous forays into Australia, or Western Australia. Alan Butcher, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for him. The Australian late model sedan champion, the first ever, and uh, Alan, no one's ever going to take that away from you. That's the main thing, isn't it? That uh, for all time, you were, look at that. Nice and big. It's heavy. Um, I was just talking to uh, the announcer here and uh, saying that we came and raced at Claremont uh, quite some years ago and I ran second in the feature, but because the car was uh, an inch over on the right rear tyre, they took it off me. So, uh, hey, I've been in retirement and when these cars came around to uh, come back to life, uh, I couldn't resist the... Uh, urge to build one and I've got to thank Roy Granger for uh, supplying parts, um, John who's travelled and drove uh, the truck with me across here and uh, thanks very much ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed the meeting, thank you. Come on race fans, put your hands together for him, what a legend, Alan Butcher, how long were you out of the sport for before you return Alan? Probably three or four years. You haven't lost anything have you? Well we, we did um, uh, seven shows with four Americans on, uh, on up and down the East Coast uh, during December and January. We should have done 18 shows. We might have had a lot more practice, but uh, we only got seven done, and it was thanks to Ben Ludlow that came over and, and made the fourth car. It was quite a sacrifice for him, and he missed racing here at home, but he did a good job while he was over there with us, and uh, we had to... Uh, uh, Blair and myself had to come over because... Uh, the other chap had come over and raced with us on the East Coast. Uh, thanks for having us. 
So what do you think of the quid motorflex? You had fun? I know the track, we had a lot of racing laps on here tonight. It was pretty dry, but still the racing was uh, pretty good when you guys could stay out of trouble. Well, uh, like I said to you before, uh, we had some soft tyres on the car and the track was going hard and we just had to take them off. They were just scrubbing off like a, a rubber pencil. And lucky we had some uh, very hard and, and the right front tyre is probably 20 years old on that car and uh, it did the job. <laughs> that sounds like the Warnable Classic a couple of years ago with a few sprint cars borrowing some uh, hardened tyres from around the place. But uh, well done and congratulations to Alan Butcher all the way from Queensland Race Fans. Put your hands together for him once again. And uh, I'm sure this guy will be pretty happy. I know he would uh, wish he was uh, further up in the uh, one more or two more spots up the pecking order. Third place tonight, I'm led to believe, and uh, a great drive considering some of the obstacles he overcome early on. How about a big uh, Quinana round of applause for Brad Ludlow, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, Brad. Congratulations for third. Got to do the handshake, mate. <laughs> yeah, tough night at the office. 60 very, very uh, demanding laps, I'd suggest. Yeah, poor old uh, Ford Mustang got torn up tonight, especially in that second race. The poor girl was torn to pieces. And I have to give it to all the guys on the crew. There's so many of you. All the guys. We've had so many guys on the crew tonight. Guys that haven't even helped us for about five or six years to come back into it to help us tonight. And, uh, and it's, you know, the credit goes to them to get that car back out on the track. You had to see it had panels out off on it uh, from Dad's car. They were old panels that we brought down to get it going. Um, she was really fast in the second race. We got taken out twice and... I really thought I would have been up there with it. She was just too bent up in the last race to do anything with it. I'm just happy to come home. Um, we come over one piece in the last race. Um, I'd like to thank Challenger Ford. They come on uh, board this this weekend for the last two meetings with us. Um, also, Castrol, uh, DeCandolo, Steel City. John DeCandolo is one of the most awesome sponsors around. Uh, West Coast Suspensions, Batteries Direct. Al Russell for painting the panels under demand. Good on you, Al. And everyone else that uh, gives us a hand, you know, it's a, it's such a demanding sport, this one, and um, it's gl I'm glad to see the first Australian title run, and, you know, next year we'll have to get up there and, uh, and really give them a run for the money. I, I had a bit of a drama tonight, but we'll come home in third place, I can't argue too much. Okay, if you decide to take that sash while you're at it, mate, and uh, we'll sort that out there for you. Congratulations, well done. Brad Ludlow, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. We'll just give this first one to... Thank you very much, Bruce Russell. I'm sure you'll do a good job. And second to nine, he's probably thinking ifs and buts and maybes as well. He's the Yo Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Blake, second in the Australian Late Model Championship. And uh, here's your sash as well, mate, for second. Okay, all singing, all dancing on tonight, but Brad, uh, so seriously, congratulations. He was a very, it's a test of endurance out there. I do triathlons, and that's all about endurance, but I've seen a whole new meaning to that word tonight. Well done to come through and uh, particularly run strongly in that final one there for you. Yeah, we, um, we're going, I felt really good today and felt really good in the first heat, as you would have seen. But come through the second heat there pretty good and just got drilled by another car and a flat tyre and a DNF don't help me none, so that cost me the title, I would think, so never mind. Pretty happy to come second. I must thank my dad for giving me a great race car, my family for all their support, kids for laying off me today, realising it was a pretty big day for dad. <laughs> um, Motorplex for putting on the show uh, and everyone else that's helped, my, my pit crew and, and my wife, all been very helpful this year and just a bit of a shame there wasn't much of a tractor race on, I suppose. <laughs> Ooh, slightly controversial, but why not? He deserves it. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for him. Brad Blake and our three place getters in the Australian late model uh, title. As I get some photos, that's great to see.